We have um, the uh, governor on uh, with us from the great state of uh, Florida, Ron DeSantis. Hello, Governor. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Very good. Now, your polls have just closed, but not in the panhandle, right? Or have they closed in the panhandle? No, they close at 7 central, so okay. Okay. I think it's a little bit past 8 o'clock eastern, so Florida polls are closed in Florida. So are, you know, this is going to be the happiest thing if you can answer this uh, in the positive. Florida is not going to be the Florida of the year 2000, right? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think even close. I That's mean, great. I think Trump, you know, the panhandle hasn't come in, but yeah. I think Trump would even win the state without it at this point. He's within 1%, and we don't even have the election day vote tabulated in all the other counties. Uh, we beat Democrats anywhere from 2 to 1 to 3 to 1 in almost every county today in the election performance. Obviously, when the panhandle comes in, you know, that's going to improve the margin. So he did what he needed to do in Florida. It is going to be declared for Trump. I have no doubt about that. So I, as I'm, I'm looking at uh, the, the poll numbers, this is not the way uh, the polls called um, Florida. I mean, you, you look at what they were saying about Florida, um, and you were anywhere from a tie to uh, plus two and a half points. I think that was the real clear politics was plus two and a half points. Um, what happened? How'd they get it wrong? Well, I think a lot of these people, places just don't know how to poll Florida. For example, when I was running for governor, uh, one of the university polls had me down seven the day of the election. Mm. And what they do is when they do English only polls, you're not getting the most Republican Hispanics. You need the Spanish polls to get the Cubans and the Venezuelans. So a lot of them just don't know how to poll Florida. But we knew as soon as I saw the Miami-Dade early vote come in, I knew he was going to win. He lost Miami-Dade by 30 points last time. Uh, he's now looking at maybe a 10-point loss, uh, which is just fantastic improvement. Mm. Um, and then you look at some of these other counties that Democrats had touted. Uh, Trump's going to end up winning Pinellas. Um, he's up big in the, mm. in the R counties. So it was just a good performance. But I do think that this polling industry, Glenn, they haven't gotten one right since 2012. They were wrong in 14 about the Senate races going Republican. They, obviously, they were wrong in 16. They were wrong in key races, such as the Florida governor's race and Senate race in 18. And they very well may get this one wrong again. You had national polls saying Trump's down by 10. Here's what I just, from my vantage point in little old Tallahassee, Florida, if you win Florida by a quarter of a million votes, I don't see how you could possibly lose nationally by 10 points. And if you win Florida by 250 and you increase your margin by two or three times what you did in 16, that bodes well for Ohio, it bodes well for North Carolina, and it bodes well for Pennsylvania. What was the big thing that Flor Floridians were, do you think, thinking about when they went to the poll? What was the, is it uh, COVID? Is it the media? Is it uh, the economy? What do you think? What do you think drove the Republicans to uh, an extra 100,000 votes that they didn't get last time in one well, county? Well, I think the fact that the president, I think the president has come through on his promises. Remember, in 2016, there were conservatives that were not sold on Donald Trump. Um, they didn't think he would do the things that we want a conservative to do. Uh, but, you know, go back. Clearly, he's been the best Republican president since Reagan in terms of following through on conservative principles. And so you look at a place like Miami-Dade County, um, you know, he stood up to Raul Castro and Nicolas Maduro. That resonates in that community. I also think Biden embracing lockdowns was a huge blunder. You know, in Florida, we're open. We're the only big state that's completely open. Right. I have all 67 counties have in-person kids in school. The parents want that opportunity. And when Biden's saying it's going to be a dark winter and basically we're going to lock down, uh, I think that worked against them. That's why some of those suburban counties that the Democrats thought were going to trend more for them doesn't seem like they did that today. And I think that may have been a sleeper issue. Are you worried at all about violence on the streets in, in anywhere in Florida? 
I'm not worried, but I'm prepared. My National Guard is mobilized. I also have other assets at my disposal, and they're ready to go if there is anything. Uh, we were very forceful, though, with the, with the Floyd protests, and we were able to keep it contained here in Florida. You didn't see the same types of stuff, yeah. um, but we're not going to tolerate it here. So hopefully that people understand that, and then they just accept it. Interestingly, though, Glenn, if we were sitting here saying Biden was up 250,000 votes in Florida, no one would be talking about rioting because we yeah. know a Biden victory would not lead to conservatives rioting in the streets.